Kia ora. this is Kylie Diamond from Diamond Precision. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to configure your Gmail account with Microsoft Outlook. Um, the first thing that we need to do is you need to open up an internet browser such as Internet Explorer or I like to use Firefox. So we're just going to open up Firefox here and then go into the URL and type in gmail.com when you get here okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure my partner's Gmail account so what you do is type in your username and password into the password waiting for it to log in alright okay now the first thing I just want to show you is if you prefer to read the instructions on how to uh, configure your Gmail with Out Microsoft Outlook you can go into the help section here and then you go down to this selection here and then the uh, the top two the Outlook Express and Microsoft Outlook 2003 now that takes you through a, a very much a step-by-step -step process as well and um, it's quite easy to follow the instructions in that way it has some good screenshots of what what you should look at when you're configuring it um, so yeah if you want to prefer to take the in instructions using text then that's fine just go to the section here and you'll be able to find your way around quite easily but what I'm going to do is I'll show you here on this video first thing you do is obviously log into your Gmail account like we've done here and then go and click on the settings section and then click on here the forwarding and pop slash IMAP and then what you want to do is um, enable pop for all mail okay now that's for all mail or you can enable pop for mail that arrives from now on that's totally up to you once you've made that selection, click down here on the Save Changes button here. Okay, so then what we've done there is we've enabled POP for um, for your Outlook, basically. So we'll just minimize this for now. Okay, so just minimize that. And then what we're going to do is, because we have several different emails so I say I have my email and then we, now we have Tasha's um, Tash.henare at gmail account what you want to do is go into the start control panel okay and then select here on the mail mail okay double click on that alright and then you go show profiles okay so you see here this lists all my profiles that I have on my mail client so I have Kylie Gmail, Tash Gmail. So I want to add a new one, and I'll just want to write Tash. Dot Okay, you get okay there. Okay, so just follow this wizard here. So add a new email account next pop three next okay and then just fill in these details the email address okay now this is the important part here which you need to enter well one of the important parts so all you need to do is type in pop.gmail.com then under outgoing mail server just type in smtp.gmail.com okay so that's that's pretty straightforward there pop3 type in pop.gmail.com outgoing mail server smtp.gmail.com okay and then you type in the password this is the same password that you enter when you're logging into gmail on the internet browser Okay, and then click down here on the uh, more settings. Oh, 
first thing before you do that, make sure that this part here, the logon using secure password is unticked exactly how it is there. Okay, and then you click down here on the more settings part. Okay, we're going to skip the general section, don't need to worry too much about that. Click on the next tab, which is outgoing server. Tick that box, that's all you need to do. Okay, you get this connection, you don't need to touch anything in there. Okay, uh, unless you're using a dial up, if you're using a dial up connection, you'll want to tick that. Now, that if you've got a dial up connection, that will all automatically come up. Well, if you got that, but because I'm using a broadband connection, I I don't need to use that, so I just untick that and connect using my local area network. Okay, then click on the advanced tab. Basically, I just tick these two boxes here. See how that number changed? See, if you click it, it goes to one. Untick it, it goes to one ten. If you tick it, it goes to nine nine five. Okay, so you want it on nine nine five, and then both of these tick boxes ticked. Alright, now this one here, you want it to change to 465, okay? Exactly how you got these two here. These are the numbers that you want to input in your email settings up here, okay? Under the advanced tab, and then you just OK that, alright? Then you want to test the account settings, so click on that button here. Okay, now I have got a... Uh, <laughs> A firewall. If you have a firewall, then it'll that's what it'll, it'll come up. It'll ask you, um, you know, you're making an outgoing uh, message, trying to go out into the internet, trying to find something. So I just create a rule to allow it. If you don't have a firewall, then you won't get this message pop up. So I'll just allow it. So it doesn't ask me that again. Okay. Now look at that. Test email message failed. <laughs> Okay, so this is just going through the tests, and then it's just telling me that my email message has failed. Okay, and then it gives me an explanation about what why it happened. It's not found. There was no response from the server. Yeah, don't worry too much about that. Okay, I just want to check in my more settings again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Four nine nine five four six five. Okay. Maybe we we'll try it again. Okay, look at that. Look at that. All of that. All the text there. That's what you want to see. Congratulations, all tests completed successfully. Click close to continue. Okay, so there we go. It's all configured correctly, all the past, all the tests, got all the ticks. Not exactly sure why it failed the first time. It might have been because it, my firewall was blocking it off for some reason. I'm not too sure. But you saw me, I didn't change anything at all. I just tested it again and come back with all the ticks. So we close that, go next. Okay, and now you're finished. So you finish. See there, now I've got three emails under my profiles so I go OK there just close that one down OK then you go open up Outlook OK now this is what happens when you first open it up you get to choose the profile name exactly how it was before see we drop down here now we've got tash.henare at gmail.com click on that one OK alright so now I've opened up my Microsoft Outlook here and then what you want to do is click on the send receive button and now that will retrieve all the emails that I've been wanting okay watch them come in okay and that's basically it now I've configured my Microsoft Outlook with my Gmail account um, yeah if you have any other questions on what you want further things further how to's then leave me a message um, I'm, I'm gonna be bringing out some more videos on how to do things on the, your computer that's very easy so yeah that's how that's the process for configuring my uh, Gmail with Microsoft Outlook 2003 I'm Kylie Diamond of Diamond Precision have a nice day nice evening nice day and I'll see you again later cheers